Merry Christmas week, everybody. I hope you're having a great holiday season so far. I am doing okay. Um, got a story for you today about my job and uh, going to go through what I'm wearing today. Plus, I have got a um, bag full of items that I've worn all week. And I thought I'd do many reviews, so this may be a little bit long video, so stay tuned. How do you like my little Christmas tree? That is my Christmas tree for my house that I took out of my living room and brought in here. I just thought it'd be a cute little touch for this week. Um, I don't have any ornaments on it because it's just such a mini trees, but I have lots of lights on it, which I absolutely love. It looks very pretty at night. I don't have my overhead light on, so I hope that everything looks okay here. Um, so let's just get started. Today, I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing today first. Um, first thing I did was, and give you a little mini review, I am using my um, Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Ethereal from Laura Geller. And I got to say, I love it. You know, you think Spackle would be thick and hard to put on, but this is a little dabble do ya so if you order this don't put a bunch on your hand like I did today you know I thought that you know I'd need it and I didn't I I used a little drop and it took my whole face it um, feels a little silicone not much but it really goes on smooth and makes your skin glow so I really really am enjoying this so far all right, the next thing I did was do my um, primer for my eyes, and I used my Ulta Eye Primer. Uh, it's fragrance-free, oil-free, paraben-free, and I've used this for quite some time, as you can tell. <laughs> okay, then I did my brows. Let's see here if I can find it. I used my Ulta um brow tint today in light and that looks like this and I really don't have to review that for you guys that have been with me for a while because you know that the only thing that I use is the mascara type wands on my brows I just don't like to color them in I don't know how to do it very well they always tend up end up looking uh, chunky and not good. So I really just like the mascara just to color the brows that I do have, which I don't have a ton, but my brows are getting kind of gray, so I need something. But I love this. Okay, so next thing I did was my uh, Laura Geller Creaseless Concealer Line Smoothing Pen, which, and I have this in light, and it looks like this. Let's see here. Like this. Um, gotta say, not in love with this. Now, it's the, the idea is awesome. You know, you, you pump it up. You push this button. You pump it up. Um, you know, it comes up here. Then you just brush it on your face. Which, the concealer is not bad. I am not, don't have any complaints about the concealer at all. Um, you know, I just, I put it on with the pen, but then I just, you know, smooshed it in with my fingers to, you know, the warmth of your fingers kind of gets it into your skin a little bit better. But it takes forever to, for stuff to come up into the brush. I mean, you're clicking and clicking and clicking, and then you're clicking and clicking and clicking some more. So, um, not real impressed with this. The concealer good, the concept of the clicky up into the brush, not so good. Okay, so then, um, you know what, I was a little backwards because I used this first after my, um, I put on both primers. 
So I used this before I used my brows and my um, concealer. Sorry about that. This I got in a swap. This is the Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal 24 Hour Foundation. Demi Matte Finish Air Light Oil Free. And it is in a... P -p 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 Shell Beige. And I wasn't for sure... Buddy, what are you doing? I wasn't for sure um, if this would match my skin tone. But actually, I think it looks pretty good. So anyway, that's what this is. Shell Beige. And I really thought a beige is going to be way too dark for me. But this actually looks... You know, it matches me pretty good. So, I'm impressed. It went on very easily. Um, I used my sponge, which is very dirty, sorry. Um, and it went on really, really smoothly and easily. Um, I didn't have to buff out any places. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so after all that, I used my, the blush, blush, blush. I used my Tarte Blush in Shimmering Pink. This is the case for it. And Buddy is underneath my desk, and he is messing around with my camera there. And this is the color. So pretty. Right there, I got my fingernail in there when I first got this. But it's beautiful. I absolutely love this. Um, it, it's pretty sheer. So I went over it a couple of times. Maybe I'm not using the right brush for cream foundations. I'm not real good with cream. so. Um, but I really like the color. It went on beautifully. Okay. For a highlighter, I used my L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator Blusher, Blush and Highlight um, in... This is for neutral undertones, by the way. Multi-use powder, glow and illuminator. Um, God darn it, what's it, where's the color? Oh, it's in rose, duh. Right there it is, the cover, again like this. And I just swirl my brush through the whole thing. And it just gave me a nice little glow. Okay. All right, so that's that um, for my eye makeup. I used my new Naked 3, um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. These are the colors. Okay, and what I did was I used this as highlight underneath my brow. Um, I used this all over um, my eyelid. That is, the first color was Strange. That one is Limit. I used Buzz for my eyelid. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And underneath my, my lid, too, right here. I will show you in a minute. Then I used the Trick, which is the gold. You know I like a little bit of a gold highlight. So I used that in my inner corners. And I, I just put a dollop in the center of my eyelid, which I will show you. Sorry about the, the um, what do you call it, shadows, because of the light not being on, on top. There we go. There is my makeup for the day. Um, last things I used, I used two more things. I used my Stay Matte by Rimmel Powder. Um, Long-lasting pressed powder in buff beige, and that's what that looks like. And I used that all over for a setting powder. And the last thing I used was knit matte knit. <laughs> Woo! NYX matte lipstick in Alabama. Such a pretty red. Really pretty. All right, that is my makeup for the day. Oh, I forgot something. My mascara and my eyeliner. Golly. Um, eyeliner I used um, Kat Von D. And this is 
this is a mini, so it's really hard to read, but it is in very black. What does this say? Something black. Crayon. Oh, crayon stick. Do, 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 do. Autograph pencil. Pure Amour. Is that the color? But it's very black. Anyway. And this is what that looks like. And I used that in my upper lash line under underneath and um, halfway on my bottom lash line. And then I used Grandissimo Lashes by Milani, which I really, really like. The um, It's got a huge wand, and I kind of like that. I don't like the little tiny skinny wands. I like the big ones that I know that are going to boom out my lashes and um, I think this does a very good job I think it's I, th I think my makeup is on point today to tell you the truth I really I'm happy with everything that I used <clears throat> okay so that is my makeup of the day let me move it out of the way and I will get started on actually I'm going to stop for the day I decided I will just do my makeup of the week next and so if you like this kind of thing with me me telling you what I'm wearing for the day and stuff, give me a thumbs up for that. And Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in my next video.